Hi and welcome to episode 10 of Click Team Fusion Tutorial. So in this episode we have a look at all the problems with the previous episode and how to fix them. Enjoy! Hi I'm Chris Kilpin and welcome to episode 10. So there were a few issues with the stuff that we've done so far couple of which I've noticed as we've uh, gone along and thought okay let's try and fix those later and one big issue with the responsiveness that we did in episode 9 so let's have a look so if I open this up and if I just run it and it looks like it's working fine the scrolling looks like it's working fine however something you might have noticed in the last episode is if I'm here and I press right and down then there's this diagonal thing that happens, but it doesn't happen anywhere else. So what's happening is if I'm, I'm pressing right here, and it's remembering that I'm pressing right, and if I press down as well, it's letting me go diagonally. Now that's going to be an easy fix to do, because I know exactly why that's happening. So if we go into the event editor, and we have a look at what's happening here. So the movement, it says that we move set X move to 1, and set what move y to one so move x to one and move y to one but if it's setting move y to one I don't want it to set move x to one I don't want move x to be anything so what I can do here is just right click on there set the alterable value of move x to zero okay if I double click on that Highlight that and press Ctrl and C to copy. Go back to the event editor, just click on that and then Ctrl and V to paste. Or I could have right clicked and gone to Ultra Value, set and move X to zero. So this block of code here, these four, won't ever have an X and a Y because if there is a Y at all, it shoves the X to zero. So up and down will be taken as a priority. So if you press up and down, it'll ignore left and right. So if I run it now, then if I press right and down now, down is the priority, ignores the other. And if I press up and left now, left is the priority. Okay, so problem one solved. The next one is the fact that I've accidentally put responsiveness into the movement. Now if I ever want to cut off the movement completely, so if I want to deactivate it, or programmatically deactivate it, it's also going to cut off our responsiveness, so that's not a good idea. And that's because I thought this was movement, so I did it above this, which clearly it wasn't. So if I highlight the 13 and just drag it on top of movement where it should have been in the first place. So I've got the block of code for movement here, and the block of code for responsiveness here. Okay, so that's a small one to fix. The next one's a big problem, and I know why it's happened, but I didn't really think about it. Naughty me. So scrolling works really well until you make it full screen and you think oh it's working fine because it doesn't need to scroll but if you move it back it completely breaks off I can still move the character but it's no longer scrolling now I had to think about this about why this is happening and if I close it and open it I can show you exactly why it's happening so it's absolutely fine here and scrolling scrolling fine if I move this open it's absolutely fine. If I keep going, it's absolutely fine still. But oh, let's put it back on. If I keep going to here and here, yep, yeah, it's fine. Seems happy. And if I scroll it upwards, everything's fine. I keep scrolling, everything's still fine. Yeah, it seems happy. And then we've got to a point here. Now you'd be thinking, right, okay, so what's different about that point? If I look in the code in our responsiveness thing, okay, and I had to go a little bit further than I thought I did there. It says that always set the width to the client width. However, if I have a look at when I go full screen, the client width is actually bigger than the width of the frame. I don't want it to go past this point here. Okay, we've set our virtual width and our virtual height, and I don't want it to cross those. I want it to be always smaller than the, or, or equal to, or smaller than that. So what I need to do is say, okay, yeah, do that, 
as long as I'm going to compare two general values. Okay, as long as the client area, the horizontal client area size, so the width of our gaming area, the width of our window, is lower or equal to, and I'm going to, have to say zero for now because I need to click on it and check what it's equal to. So if I go to the virtual, so it should be 1280. Now I'm not going to pick 1280. I'm going to pick 1279. Okay. Then I'm going to click on the 8 and Control and Z, Control and V, Control, Control and C, Control and V to copy and paste. And this time I'm going to double click that and say, well, okay, if it's greater than it. Now, if it's greater than it, I want it to stop. I don't want it to go above uh, 1279. So I want to right click on this and just say, well, if it's bigger than that, then you need to set it to 12,079. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same with this. So I'm going to click and drag this in, but I don't want the client width, I want the client height. I have a memory of a fish, so I need to look back, Nine, uh, 959. And I'm just going to copy and paste that, and say if it's Oh no, that's already fine. I want to change the other one to say less than or equal to. And I'll right click this and say um, instead of that, I want 959. Now you might be asking, why is that 1280? If our virtual width is 1280, why not set this as 1280? And the virtual height, if it's 960, why not set this as 960? For some reason, it still breaks if it is equal to the virtual height and virtual width. Um, I have no idea why. I imagine one starts at zero and one starts at one. What we might do is change the virtual height and virtual width to just adding one to it. And then, then we can change these all to 1280. So it's either way around. It's probably easier to know what the actual width and maximum width are going to be when we set up our frames. Now, if I try it now, now scrolling fine. If I double click on it, it still works fine. If I double click on it. It's perfect. It keeps it keeps the scrolling perfect. Now, if I just show you that if this was 1280 and this was 960, so if I run it now, oh, click on the right one. If I run it now, then it scrolls fine here. If I double click and then double click again, the scrolling breaks. There's no way of getting that scrolling back. So however much I move this character, even if I move him back onto the frame it just breaks it so we always need to have that one more for some reason now you might write a comment and say oh that's the reason for that is because of X please do please let me know if you've got a reason for that but these were the main bugs that I found as I was going through it uh, if you've got any more bugs that you found or, or things that you think that could be better please let me know um, next episode we could be looking at Arrays of arrays. So we've got our array for our level. So how are we going to have different uh, levels, different areas of the map that we can explore? So please uh, join me then. <laughs> Thank you very much. And if you like this video, please click like. If you really want to see more, please click subscribe. Thank you very much.